In his welcoming remarks, Prime Minister Nguyen Xuân Phúc highlighted the development of ASEAN, which has become the world's fifth largest economy, and its essential role in dialogues, cooperation for peace, security and prosperity in the region. These achievements have been attested amid unprecedented changes and challenges, particularly in the COVID-19 pandemic. Cohesive and responsive is not only the theme of ASEAN 2020. Together with the spirit of proactivity and responsibility, it has become the brand name of ASEAN, helping the bloc cope with difficulties and challenges, he noted. On this occasion, the Prime Minister praised the ASEAN's efforts to help businesses resume their operation and regional people stabilize their lives. The initiatives such as the COVID-19 Response Fund, the ASEAN Regional Reserve of Medical Supplies have helped the bloc fight against the COVID-19 pandemic while connecting the member nations. The Prime Minister requested ASEAN foreign ministers give priority to successfully implementing the ASEAN Community Vision 2025, preventing and controlling the COVID-19 pandemic while promoting sustainable recovery. Addressing the opening ceremony, Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Phan Bing Ming spoke highly of the ASEAN bloc, which is dynamic in action, flexible in response, and creative in cooperation. Deputy Prime Minister Ming expressed his hope that, in the framework of the AMM 53rd and related meetings, participants will discuss specific measures to effectively implement the instructions of the ASEAN leaders at the 36th ASEAN Summit thus furthering regional cooperation and overcoming challenges while successfully implementing set goals and mapping out the way forward. Being aware that the threat of COVID-19 pandemic is still looming, the ASEAN Coordinating Council will discuss thoroughly ways and means to effectively push forward ASEAN's efforts and initiatives to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic, he said. The plenary section of the 53rd ASEAN Foreign Ministers' Meeting took place following the opening ceremony under the chair of Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Phan Bing Ming. Addressing the event, Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Phan Bing Ming affirmed over the past five decades, the ASEAN community has demonstrated its essential role in shaping the evolving regional architecture. The region's economies have achieved positive outcomes. In fighting COVID-19, the number of recovered patients in ASEAN is relatively high, while the number of fatalities is quite low, he added. Entering its sixth decade, ASEAN is now speeding up its community building while maximizing its role and status in the region and actively contributing to the joint efforts for peace, stability and development of the international community.